So, welcome to the first lecture of this course on point set topology. So, lecture 1. So, in this lecture, we shall see the definition of a topological space. and some very basic examples. So, before we define a topological space, so recall the definition of a power set. So, let x be any set. then the power set of x denoted p of x is the set consisting of all subsets of x. So, in particular, the empty set which we denote by the symbol phi and the full set x are both elements of p of x. So, having recalled this definition, so let us define what a topological space is of a topology. So, let x be a set let tau be a subset of the power set of x. which satisfies the following three conditions. So, the first condition is the empty set and the full set x are both in tau. So, recall that tau is a collection of subsets of x and what we need is that tau contains the, so the empty set and x are both elements of the power set and what we need is that tau contains both these elements. The second condition we need is, suppose u1, u2 up to un are finitely many subsets of x and all these are in tau and all these are elements of tau. Then this intersection i equal to 1 to n, this finite intersection uh, which is a subset of x should also be an element of tau. So, over here let us emphasize, we emphasize that in this condition there are only finitely many u i s. So, this is the second condition 
and the third condition is let i be any set possibly infinite uh, suppose for each i suppose for each i in i we are given a subset ui of x such that ui is an element of tau then the subset of x which is the union union over all these i's u i's this is a subset of x should be in tau and once again let us emphasize that we emphasize that in this condition the collection u i may be infinite. So, suppose we have uh, a collection tau like this, a collection, a subset tau of p of x which satisfies the above three conditions uh, is called a topology on x. Uh, often we shall write let x comma tau be a topological space. So, by this we mean that x is a set and tau is a topology on x. Uh, so, this is the definition of a topological space and now we will see some examples of topological spaces. So, the first example So, this is called the trivial topology So, in all these examples let x be any set So, here uh, let tau be the subset of power set of x consisting of just two elements So, namely tau is equal to it just contains the empty set and the entire set x. So, to check that tau uh, defines a topology on x we have to check three conditions. So, let us check these. So, first first condition is uh, the first condition was that it should contain the empty set and x. So, clearly 
tau contains the empty set and the set x. So, the first condition is satisfied. So, the second condition for being a topology was that if we take finitely many elements in tau if u 1, u 2 up to u n are in tau then the intersection is in tau. Right. So, in this case uh, an element of tau is either the empty set or the full set x. So, first consider the case where any one of the uis is the empty set. Then the intersection ui is the empty set and so is in tau. So, next we consider the case. So, if this does not happen that means that all the uis are x. So, if this uh, the only other possibility is that all the uis are equal to x and in this case also intersection i equal to 1 to n u i is again equal to x and so is in tau. Right. So, therefore, the second condition is also satisfied. So, finally, let us check the third condition. So, the third condition says that uh, let i be a set and assume that for each i we are given an element u i in tau. So, it is in u i is an element of tau which means it is a subset of x and moreover since tau is contains of just two uh, elements. So, then each u i is either empty or x right and uh, if all the u i are empty sets. So, then this arbitrary union is equal to empty and is in tau. Otherwise, uh, there exists some j such that u j is equal to x, which implies that when we take the union, this is going to become equal to x, which is in tau. So, therefore, the third condition is also satisfied. Uh, so, this implies that, so therefore, so this shows that tau which is phi comma x satisfies all three conditions defining conditions to be a topology on x. Yeah. So, thus tau defines a topology on x and this is called the trivial topology.
Okay. So, this uh, completes the first example. So, in the same way let us see another example. This is called the discrete topology. So, here uh, again x is any set and we take tau to be the entire power set of x. So, once again to check that tau defines a topology on x, we need to check that tau satisfies the three defining conditions. So, let us check them one by one. Uh, once again, since the clearly tau contains the empty set and x, because tau is all of the power set and the power set contains phi and x. So, this condition is satisfied. The second condition is that if we take or let u 1, u 2 up to u n be finitely many subsets of x which are in tau, then their intersection u i should be in tau. But this condition is also satisfied because the intersection as the intersection is a subset of x, it is in the power set which is equal to tau. So, therefore, the second condition is also satisfied and similarly the third condition is satisfied. So, let i be any set. And suppose we are given for each i a subset u i in x, u i of x, a subset u i of x, which is in tau. Okay. So, then we need to show that. the union is in tau, right. But again exactly as in the previous point, this is clear as the union is a subset of x and so is a member of the power set of x which is equal to tau. So, thus the third condition is also satisfied. So, therefore, tau defines a topology on x which is called the discrete topology. Okay. So, the first two examples were fairly simple. So, let us take the a third example. This is a little bit more interesting. So, this is called the finite complement topology. So, here uh, once again x is any set and let tau be those elements of the power set of x or in other words those subsets of x such that either u is empty or x minus u is a finite set.
Okay, so for this tau, let us check that it satisfies the three defining conditions for a topology. So, the first recall that the first condition we need to check was that uh, phi and x are in tau. Right, so clearly phi is in tau, right, and also since x minus x, this is the empty set, is finite of cardinality 0, uh, we get that. So, this implies that x is in tau. Therefore, the first condition is satisfied. So, the second condition was the following. So, if u1, u2, u n are elements in tau, then we need to show that intersection u i of these u i's, this also in tau. Uh, okay, so let us first consider the case. So let us first consider the case. Where one of the UIs is empty. Right? So in this case, so then the intersection is empty and so is in tau. <coughs> so, if this does not happen, so if uh, so the other possibility is so the other possibility is that u i is non empty for all i equal to 1 to n. So, in this case what happens is that, so this will imply that for each i, the set x minus u i is a finite set. So, now let us consider the, so let us consider x minus this finite intersection. Now, some simple set theory shows that this is equal to the union i equal to 1 to n of x minus u i. And moreover, so as each x minus u i is a finite set, this implies that their finite union is also a finite set. Right? So, theref so therefore, we have proved that. So, thus x minus this intersection i equal to 1 to n u i is a finite set. Which implies that intersection i equal to 1 to n u i is in tau. So, this shows that tau satisfies the second condition for being a topology. And finally, let us check the third condition. So, here we have to start with so i is any set, let i be any set. And suppose for each i in i, we are given a subset u i which is in tau. So, uh, what does this mean? Uh, okay. 
So, right. So we have to check that. the union of all these, this is in top. So, once again we consider two cases. So, first consider the case when all the UIs are the empty set. So, in this case then clearly the union is equal to empty which is in top. So, if this does not happen that means that the other possibility is that there is 1 j for which at least 1 j for which u j is non empty. So, this will imply that x minus u j is a finite set. So, now as before let us consider the set x minus union of these uis and some simple set theory tells us that this is equal to intersection i in i x minus these uis and this intersection is obviously contained in each of these pieces each of this subset so in particular this is going to be contained in x minus uj right which is a finite set which is a finite set right so this shows that x minus this union of i is a finite set mm, which implies that union ui is in tau. So, therefore, tau satisfies the third condition also. So, thus we see that tau satisfies the, so the tau we defined is here using this condition. this collection tau it satisfies the three conditions which define a topology. So, this topology is called the is called the finite complement topology. So, therefore, what we have seen so far is that given a topological space x. Uh, any, I am sorry, given a set x, any set x, we saw three examples of topologies that we could put on it. Uh, so, we will end the first lecture here and in the next lecture, we will see uh, some specific examples which uh, we will often encounter in this course. So, thank you.